I've done 75 vector bees, 75 precise bees, 75 point bees, and now it's time to do 50 fuzzy bees because cringe on it removed 75 bees from the test realm, and I cannot do it anymore, but hey, 50 bees is just as good, right? Anyway, let's get buffs, get bee equips, which I probably will not use. I'm not even sure what I can put on fuzzy bees, get all the eggs, and auto clay badges. Yeah, so for this video, I'm literally only planning on using the fuzzy bees, nothing else. So I'm gonna do a bunch of things like puff shrooms, killing the stump snail, and I'm also gonna do a massive boost at the end to see how powerful fuzzy bees truly are. Yeah, bro, look at all these fluffy fuzzy bees that will spawn fuzzy balls right in my face. And there we go. I have 25 fuzzy bees, but there's only one problem. I only have one type of bee, which is a fuzzy bee, obviously. So to fix that, I'm gonna use a few star eggs. Yes, I know I said I'm only gonna use fuzzy bees, and that is still the plan, but this is just to unlock a few more bee types. And there we go. I can finally use red cannon and mondo chick. Oh no, don't kill me, please. Bro, I literally landed inside of the mondo chick and it killed me. I got a little replay of that. I had like two trillion Paul inside of my backpack, and Mondochik just stole that from me. Bro, you better not kill me again. I'm not surprised why Aunt decided to make KFC out of Mondochik. Well, anyway, I'm in the top shop for one reason, and that reason is to buy 25 more hype slots, which I should have right now. Perfect. Dude, this is so weird having 50 hype slots with literally the basic gear. It's kind of cursed. But anyway, let's buy all the best gear in the top shop. Beekeeper's mask, Mondo belt bag, porcelain dipper, and porcelain backpack, which I'll probably not even use, and the glider. Wait, actually, I forgot one thing. The spark stuff. Best tool in the game. Trust. If anyone tells you otherwise in the comments, they're a liar. And bro, my fuzzy bees are attacking the Mondo chick, but they're all literally level zero. Well, I guess Mondo chick died somehow to the fuzzy bees. Yeah, you can already tell how OP the fuzzy bees are. All level zero and still killed the Mondo chick. I just realized my mistake. I have a shock bee in my hive. Wow, that is so quinge. Well, I think it's best that I use a fuzzy bee egg on the shock bee. And yeah, let's just get 25 more fuzzy bees because that's the whole point of the video. Duh. And there we go. 50 fuzzy bees. Slay. Anyway, let's level them up to level 20 and make them gifted. Dude, that button is just so convenient. And some idiots claiming every single badge. Bro, just step on that button. It's as easy as that. Next up, bro, all these fuzzy balls in my face. I can't say I'm enjoying this, but I do have to say I'm enjoying Peace Swarm a bit more than usual. Anyway, next thing I have to do is get the best amulets possible. So since the white bees are a colorless bee, I'm gonna go for the Gummy Star and Star Saw, which is a perfect white passive. Wait, actually, boys, I have an idea. What if I use Star Shower? Because the sheer multiplier I can get from the Inspire. Because Star Shower can actually give me like times 10 pollen. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. But actually, now that I think about it, the same is complete garbage. I have every single type of pollen. You don't want that. Bro, that is literally perfect. Wow. All right, let's replace. Next up, we have the Moon Amulet. Yeah, that should be good. The Supreme Ant Amulet. That's perfect. Supreme Cog Amulet. Please give me normal pollen. And by normal, I mean white pollen. All right, pretty Parker's Amulet, if you ask me. Next up, the Diamond Stick Bug Amulet. And what I'm gonna go for is Bomb Pollen. Because Fuzzy Bees, they spawn the Fuzz Bombs and the Buzz Bombs Plus. So, yeah, 50 fuzzy bees, they're probably gonna be spawning a lot of bombs. Alright, that's a pretty good diamond stick big amulet. White pollen and bomb pollen. Perfect. Next up, you have the stump amulet. What can I even get from this, dude? Probably just want instant goo conversion. Dude, that is perfect. 40% white pollen and 9% goo conversion. Slay. And let's replace. And lastly, the King Beetle Amulet. Just give me plus one B attack and I'll be happy. No, that is not it. Okay, there. Perfect. So even though I don't have any B quips, nor have I mutated my bees, I'm still gonna test out this hive and dandelion. So let's see how fast all the flowers can become extremely thick. Yeah, so fuzzy bees, they make the flowers really thick. Actually, I guess the entirety of dandelion field is getting bombed. And they don't even have a sprinkler to regenerate the flowers. But yeah, look, all these flowers are just so thick and beautiful. It's insane. But how many bombs am I getting? This is kind of crazy. Okay, I think the next thing I need to do is get the best gear possible. And for that, we obviously have to kill the coconut crab. So I'm actually gonna try and speed her into killing the crab. So let's pop a super smoothie. Nectar tester gives me one of every single nectar. It's really cool. And yeah, let's just jump in here. Pop a singer. Fuzzy bees attack. How much damage can they do? Bro, that is a little more than I expected. Damn, fuzzy bees is just too OP for attack. Straight up. Look at this. The crab is already half dead. Let's go. Right, 30,000 health left. And the crab is dead. Slay. I'm just gonna pick up all the micros because I have a feeling all these bombs are probably gonna be filling up my backpack quite a bit, bro. Look at this. Already. Coconut field is just getting shredded by all these bombs. Fuzzy Bees just spawned so many Iraq tokens. But yeah, now that I killed the crab, I can obviously just find my name on this leaderboard. But yeah, let's craft the coconut clogs and the coconut canister. Slay. And I know you guys didn't tune in for the Bee Storm shopping channel, so I'm just gonna do a little time lapse of my shopping spree. Bam. Bam. Boom. Pow. Boom. Bop. Gummy balls. W. And as you guys know, the most important part of my gear composition, the thing that I always forget, the pedal belt. But this time I didn't forget it. So if I see one comment saying I forgot the pedal bell, I'm gonna ban you. And I will send exactly 69 beehives to your house. Yes, live bees at your doorstep. But yeah, also, let's open the Mondo gift box because it gives me the honey day event and it's pretty OP. Gifted vicious bee! Oh, it stung me in the
So I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but I'm actually gonna get mutations on every single fuzzy bee. So stuff like gather amount, even more gather amount. Is gather amount the only thing I'm gonna get? This should honestly increase how much pollen I'm getting by so much. For bee ability rate, let's go even more bombs. So I guess enjoy the time lapse of my suffering. And now every single one of my bees has a mutation. Some more useful than others, but I'm happy with what I got. Next up, we can get a few bee quips, but first I have to buy a few more bee quip slots, because right now I only have 10 slots. So yeah, these bee quip slots, they're not even that expensive, trust. Anyone can afford these. Uh, 6,800 tickets? Yeah, sure. 8,000? Yep. 9,000? Okay. 11? 13,000? 15,000? Yeah, you know, I think I should stop. The gambling spree has gone way too far. So yeah, I picked out a bunch of bee quips that I can actually equip on these gifted fuzzy bees. Because trust me, there are a lot of equips that I couldn't equip. These lumps of coal are kind of insane because they give me extra bomb pollen for the entire hive, so I have to level them up. And if you don't know how to level up equips, all you gotta do is just use wax. So I'm gonna use this debug wax, which has a 100% chance to improve a bee's bee equip. And bro, look at these buffs, dude. That is insane. All these high bonuses. Wow. You know what? I like gambling. Let's try the caustic wax. Bro, it destroyed the equip. Yeah, that's a scam. First try, bro. I thought I'd get lucky. You know, I should probably just stick to the debug wax. Damn, 7% bomb pollen. That's just so slay. But as I promised, in this video, I'll prove the power of fuzzy bees. That's why I'm really quickly gonna have to kill the slump snail. And I'm saying really quickly because I know it's gonna take like 5 seconds to kill the slump snail with all these fuzzy bees. They're just that OP. But yeah, I also got the speedrun timer here to see how fast I can kill it. So let's swap more small bees, super smoothie again. And let's hop into this field, start the speedrun timer. Come on, fuzzy bees attack, please. I know you can do this. I believe in you, fuzzy bees. Just do as much damage as possible. And I really hope this doesn't take 27 days. And I already did a million damage to the slump snail in one minute. It's not that long, trust. The fuzzy bees aren't even spawning any tokens. They're just so focused on attacking the slump snail and killing it in, in as fast of a time as possible that there's absolutely no time to worry about spawning bomb tokens. Right, 3 million damage done. Dude, my attack total with all these fuzzy bees is like 11,000. That's actually really good. And I've already done 5 million damage. That's pretty good, but if I want to kill the slump snail, I'm gonna have to do that like 5 more times. I really hope it doesn't take that long. 10 million damage done, 15 million damage done, 20 million damage done, 25 million damage, only 5 million left to go, and the slump snail is dead, finally, bro, why does every single time I kill the slump snail, I get a bronze shield on it, that's cringe, okay, but with 50 fuzzy bees, it took me half an hour to kill the slump snail, half an hour of my life flaws to be game, so was killing a slump snail worth it, no, but I know what they say, anything for the content, next up, I'm gonna try something even crazier, the aerobic challenge, and make sure you guys watch till then, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a massive boost to see how much honey I can can actually make with all these fuzzy bees. But yeah, first, I need to complete this robot bear quest in order to actually talk to him, and I need some tribes, which I can get by stepping on this button. And yeah, I get a few tribes from that. Only a few, though. Nothing too crazy. Robo bear, sir, please give me your quest. Let's start the challenge. Let's see white pollen and honey. So, I wonder what I should pick here. The choice between the bees is just so difficult. Obviously, fuzzy bee, fuzzy bee, and fuzzy bee again. So let's get white pollen, lock this in, and start the round. Yeah, I really have no idea how easy this is gonna be. Hopefully, it won't be that difficult. I thought I should probably pop another super smoothie or marshmallow bee. Well, round one is complete. That wasn't hard at all. But maybe the next few rounds will be difficult. Done. Round three is done. Round four is complete. Round five is done. Yo, something I forgot to do is level up my bees. I have like 10 quadrillion honey, which I haven't spent on anything. So let's buy a few treats and buy a few. I mean like 900 billion treats. That's what I mean by a little. So yeah, I bought a few treats. And hopefully it's enough to get a few bees level 21. It's not that much of a problem picking which bees to level up. Because they're all literally the same. And there we go. I got a good majority of my beast level 21 and that should be pretty helpful in the robot challenge but yeah as you guys know i beat round five now it's time to move on to round six bro look at this my active bees 11 and sell just fuzzy bees that is cursed once more a very difficult choice on what to get home page reroll credit why not okay yeah let's start the round and low key some flowers actually kind of OP to get pollen from because my fuzzy bees they end up pollinating it so all the flowers become really thick just the way i like it because we all know the thicker the better and round six is already done wow round seven we can do this easy bam Bam, bop. Now this is really putting all these bees to the test. Bro, they're spawning so many bomb tokens, it's insane. And even making pine tree really thick. Yeah, the bombs are actually pretty good. I might have actually underestimated this hive. Tell me in the comments what round you think I'll be able to get to. Right now, I'm hoping I can get to at least like round 15. That's what I'm gonna go for. And round seven is done. Why some idiot doing badges? He's trying to lag my game. Anyway, robot challenge, round eight. 10 million white pollen, easy. Bam, bam, lock this in, and start the round. And round eight is already done, easy. Round nine, I'll do the goo. Bam, bam, bop, bada boom, done. And round 10. Seems easy enough, right? I'm, I'm just gonna work on killing the cogmores first. So there are some over here in Sunflower. I should probably pop the drives as well. 
They seem pretty useful. Mombies attack. I believe in you, fuzzy bees. All right, first wave of cockmores is dead. Moving on to bamboo. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to talk about it, okay? I obviously got scammered by Onnit himself. But yeah, insane amulet, as you can see. A whole 3% bee attack, 7 red pollen. One into white conversion. Let's go. Or should I say let's go? Because it's bee game. Bro, look, I'm gummy bear. What? And finally, my ticket planner is smoking so I can do some puff shrooms. This is what I've been waiting to do for another half hour, bro. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, let's hop marshmallow bee super smoothie and spawn the puff shrooms. Where are they gonna go? All right, please go to a pepper or something. I'm begging you, game. All right, one is going to pepper. Perfect. All right, level three. One is flying over here to Dandan. Wait, look, there's actually some other puff shrooms here. Level three again. Level four. Let's go. Heading to Rose. Level five. Going to Strawberry. It's going to a new field every time. This is what we love to see. Level seven. Bro, go to Spider or something. Nice. Wait, that's mushroom. Close enough though, right? It's a rare puff shroom level seven. Bro, back to Strawberry. Level nine puff shroom for the first time. It is a miracle. Level 11. Fuzzy Bees, come on. Do damage. Level 12. Level 14. Bro, that's insane. And it also has three minutes. That's perfect. Dude, literally collected like a third of the puff shroom. Perfect. The bomb tokens actually collect so much ball. It's insane. What is that over in Deadline? Yo, level 16. Dude, I should have definitely gotten some loaded dice. I only have cringe normal dice for now. But yeah, look. These Fuzzy Bees can pollinate the flowers, make them thick. And the bombs can get even more pollen from underneath the puff shroom. Okay, it's popped. And it's going to Clover. Level 18, maybe? Or 17? What just happened? The game is trying to scam me. Bro, level 18 with 300 million health. That is a lot of health, I'll be honest. But fuzzy bees are officially confirmed the best bee for puff shrooms. Trust. If you're ever struggling with puff shrooms, just get 50 gifted fuzzy bees. It's as easy as that. Not sure how you're going to get the honey for that or the star treats. That's for you to figure out. Pretty darn OP. Level 18 puff shroom has popped and it's going back to Dandelion. I'm proud to scam. What is this? Level 18 puff shroom? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, level 17. That's a scam. It just disappeared. Dude, I literally got scammered straight up. Well, I guess things don't always go according to plan, especially if you get scammered like me. Well, anyway, I think I had enough fun with puff shrooms. And by fun, I mean I think I've suffered enough doing puff shrooms. So now, as promised, I'm gonna do a massive boost to see how much honey I can actually make with 50 gifted fuzz bees. But there's one problem. So my Supreme Star Amulet has a star shower passive, but you need boost tokens for the star shower. And, but fuzz bees only give you bomb tokens. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go with gummy star and star saw instead of star shower. Okay, that is, bro, that is perfect. What? Why am I getting this? Lucky 69% white pollen on that knows what I need in life. Let's replace. And now I'm gonna have to waste my life savings donating stuff to the wind shrine. I've heard star treats are incredibly good for getting white fields. Let's test that myth out. If I don't get insane white field wins from this, I'm gonna be very angry because as you can see, I'm donating quite a few star treats. Yeah, this better work, dude. 100,001. Let's donate. Three, two, one, and the spider. Nice. I actually got spider, dandelion, and sunflower. Lay. I'm obviously gonna go to spider. Best field out here. And crafting some loaded dice won't be the worst idea, considering I have zero. So yeah, loaded dice field. Give me spider, please. Don't scam me. That is not it. That is not it. Okay, that is it. Never mind. I got spider times three, and it's about to become times four from the glitter. Dude, look, already I'm getting like 100 million pump per second. What? I'm gonna start using my gumdrops to make it. Maybe I can get a gummy star. Uh, I did not expect to be making this much honey. And all these bomb tokens are so satisfying. Oh my gosh. I'm filling up faster than I can convert. Oh, Alfred, he's dead. All right, I should probably use another smoothie marshmallow. And as soon as I get my first gummy star. We're gonna see how much honey I make from that. But look, already the field is just so thick. Dude, every flower is just insanely thick. I don't think I've seen this before. Look at this. Everything is just golden. It has a star on it. That's the best flowers you can get. Over 1 billion honey per second. Absolutely crazy. Yo, gummy morph. How much are we gonna make from this? Uh, okay, not enough. Game is trying to scam me. Yeah, I'll be honest. The gummy morph isn't that useful because I don't have any vector bees or I don't have any mark tokens, which are incredibly OP for gummy baller. But still, I'm gonna make it work. Oh yeah, I also have a few fessa beans to waste. So as soon as I get a few gummy stars, I'm gonna use a fessa bean to make even more honey and money because honey and money is my favorite thing ever. Yo, gummy star. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm popping a fessa bean to see how much honey I make from this. Let's use star saw and bro, how much am I making? Two billion per second? That is insane. Bro, can I get like five billion per second? That would absolutely be insane. Dude, look at this gummy star. 50 billion goo in it. Pretty thick. Five billion per second. Let's go. As I said, anything is possible if you believe and if you have enough skill like me because obviously I'm the best beast storm player there ever was. 200 bull gummy star? Maybe? Yes! 208 billion, I think that's what it was. And let's pick up all these sicky, icky gummy tokens, which should also give me quite a bit of honey. Dude, look at this giant ball flying around. Hopefully, I don't get hit in the face by giant purple balls. Not my favorite activity to do, trust. Another gummy star, let's go. Why is there some random kid inside of Spider? Please place a sprinkler. This whole field is getting bombed by these fuzzy bees. It's literally getting annihilated. Can you help me with a boost, please? Is that what he wants? I'm boosting myself, bro. Can you help me with a boost? Bro, can you help me with 
the boost? That's the real question. Gummy morph. How much am I gonna make from this? A lot, obviously. Another five bill per second. But unfortunately, my fast being ran out. Kind of scam if you ask me. Dude, all these bombs are just annihilating the field. It doesn't even stand the chance. Like, the flowers cannot regenerate fast enough, even with two sprinklers. Can you help me with the boost? Okay. What a nice man. Gonna support gonna support this fuzzy bee only boost. I wonder what he's thinking about my hive. Obviously, he thinks it's just the best hive he's ever seen. Another gummy star. This luck absolutely go crazy. This luck just goes crazy. I'm not even sure if I'm learning anything new from this. Just because the field is still getting annihilated. The flowers are still incredibly thick. And there's a snowstorm and someone just did a legendary sprout. What is going on? So yeah, I've been boosting for a good 10 minutes. So I think it's a good time to say that fuzzy bee only hive is quite OP. So let's go on the leaderboard, see how much honey I made. Damn, 1.4 trillion. All right. So if you spend all of your life savings getting 50 gifted fuzzy bees, expect to make like 1.4 trillion from a spider fuel boost in 10 minutes only. Dude, these guys will not stop getting legendary sprouts. But look, now that the field has some time to regenerate, this quality of flowers is insane. Literally, all of them are just so thick. Like your sister. Like your sister. Like your sister. Just all so beautiful and golden, bro. It's like my bank account, bro. Literally all just gold. And just by running in here for a second, I'm already making like one bill per second. Yeah, it seems legit. What is going on? Why am I making more now than when I was during my boost? This does not make sense. B game is completely rigged. Confirmed. But yeah, with these bombs, the field just gets absolutely bombed. Wait, let's get rid of my sprinkler to see how fast I can destroy this field. Yeah, you know, this field doesn't even stand a chance. It's all literally gonna be white, dude. The field looks like a snowman. And yeah, only took like a minute or so to destroy the entire field. There's barely any flowers left. So once more, if you ever decide to get 50 gifted fuzzy bees in your hive, expect the gameplay to look like this. By the way, for legal reasons, please don't get 50 gifted fuzzy bees. It is way too expensive. But hey, your hive, your rights. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the 50 gifted fuzzy bees, tell me in the comments. So yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Yeah, tell me some more stuff you want me to do in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.